All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So a few hours ago, the official JP Dokkan Twitter page released this preview talking about the next major update that's coming to the JP side of the game. And of course, eventually on global as well. And uh, supposedly this is the final part of the uh, version Z plan that started, I think over a year ago. And of course that doesn't mean that we're not gonna be getting uh, more updates in the future. It just means that the Virgin Z project is officially over. So yeah, with that said, we're going to go through this video quickly and uh, talk about some of the new features that they bring up. And I got to say, it's one of the more interesting uh, updates we've received recently. So jumping into it here, we are starting with our host, which is this guy. I think his name is starts with an O. I'm gonna say, I think it's Omatsu. I think it's Omatsu, but I could be wrong. If I got it wrong, I apologize. Nonetheless, he's hosting this video and he's talking about, uh, you know, the new update that's coming. And the first thing that he brings up is uh, a feature called the collection room, which is essentially um, this like new section in the game that allows you to purchase and listen to uh, BGMs or background music from the game from either like token events or uh, well, I guess basically events in the game right and they said that they're gonna be released sequentially so I guess starting from the very first theme which you would assume would be I guess just the Dokkan theme that you hear when you uh, open the game right and then from there we have you know all the OSTs from like all the Dokkan events from all the uh, other events in the game, all the like unit transformation OSTs, all the active skill OSTs, and all that stuff. So, pretty exciting stuff, honestly, because I've always said Dokkan for not just a mobile game, just as a game in general, has some of the best video game music I've ever heard, you know, and it just keeps getting better. So, the fact that we now have this option to collect all the OSTs or the BGMs also listen to them and uh, supposedly you can attach them to like certain teams as well so maybe you know regardless of which event you're taking uh if you have like that team that's tied with the ost then it'll always play that ost I'm not really sure exactly how that's gonna work but the point is you can collect these you can use them you can listen to them and uh this is actually a feature that i feel like a lot of other gacha games I've already had like one that comes to mind right now is uh, Bleach Brave Souls, where you had the option to uh, at least change the main theme on your home screen um, at will, right? So I'm assuming this is going to be a very similar feature, except for the fact that you can also bring these OSTs into different events uh, from there. So yeah, they're going to be released sequentially. Currently, from what I've heard, there's over 200 OSTs in the game, and uh, over time you'll be able to collect, in theory, all of them, but they might release them like kind of slowly, so it might take years for us to eventually get all of them, right? But the point is, uh, this is the collection room. You'll be able to collect the OSTs, and uh, there's a certain currency which you can use to purchase these OSTs, and uh, it's called Burst Coins, I think. And that ties in directly with the next feature, which is this Burst Mode right here, which uh, is actually pretty exciting. It's a very interesting concept, and... Once again, it's something that I feel like a lot of other gacha games have ha have had already, but uh, it's still something new for Dokkan, which is always exciting. So, uh, Burst Mode is essentially a feature, and I think they actually give us a visual demonstration here. Yeah, so there's going to be a new uh, tab or button on the home screen, which you can click to go into Burst Mode. And essentially, when you go into Burst Mode, uh, you'll have the option to take on existing events in the game, except with minor tweaks to them, right? There's like different conditions that uh, apply to these new events. So for example, in this one, you're taking on the uh, Saiyan Saga story event, and there are a bunch of little like circles here which you can uh, click or select, and they will give different... Well, basically, it'll change the uh, event in some way, right? So. Uh, there are different ones for, uh, you know, debuffing your units. There's different ones for buffing the enemies, so you can, you know, give the enemy 
uh, more attack, more defense, or give your uh, team less attack, less defense, and essentially make the event a lot harder than it normally is, right? And, uh, you know, the more you select, right, the more options you select, the harder you make the event, essentially, the more currency you'll get from running that event. And over time, uh, you'll collect enough coins, which you can use to, like I said before, purchase those uh, BGMs or OSTs from the election mode, right? And uh, supposedly, it's also going to be very similar to events like Ultimate Clash, where, you know, every so often, they'll change things up, it'll be a new event, or there's going to be new gimmicks, there's going to be new uh, conditions to satisfy. And uh, yeah, that's basically how burst mode is gonna work. And this is basically him just like running through the Saiyan Saga story event with the new, uh, you know, buff slash debuffs. I think essentially he chose some options which made the enemies harder and made his team weaker. Although it still seems really easy, so maybe he didn't choose too many things. But as you can see, he chose four things, and they each give a different number of coins. So at the end, he beat it and got 750 coins. And there is going to be a limit to how many coins you can uh, collect. So I'm guessing that... Uh, actually, no, I think they did mention in the video that burst mode is not the only way you can get the OSTs or the BGMs. There's also going to be other events which uh, give out OSTs and BGMs as well. So it's not exclusive, uh, exclusively the burst mode of the burst coins. Um, that gives you the currency to purchase the BGMs, right? So uh, now he's doing, I guess, a second run with a lot more things selected, with like a lot more conditions. And um, there might be conditions that also limit like which characters you can bring on your team, I think, because you did see that like some of the characters were grayed out, right? So they couldn't be brought into the event. So uh yeah essentially just a new spin a new take on existing events in the game uh some people might argue that it's a little bit lazy you know that they're not giving us a completely just new event uh but i don't mind this one i don't mind this one i mean it's it's a pretty interesting concept and god damn okay so as you can see major major buff to the enemy Vegeta this time before he one-shot the Vegeta, right? This time, you know, he's doing a super that had a higher attack stat, but Vegeta only took, I don't know, about a, a fifth of his uh, HP, right? And he's also doing crazy damage now, so definitely uh, a massive difference between the two. And I think it also made his units weaker too. So like, it's a combination of the enemy being a lot stronger, having a lot more HP, having a lot more attack, and also his team having a lot less attack, less HP, or sorry, uh, less defense and all that stuff, right? So um, you can definitely make these events a lot harder depending on how many of these things you select. And of course, uh, as I said, the more you choose, the more, uh, the more coins, the more currency you'll get from those runs. And let me just quickly scroll through here. Talks a little bit more about the burst mode. You get the burst coins, which allows you to get the BGM for that event, right? So in this case, burst coins you can use to buy the OST for the uh, Saiyan Saga event BGM or OST. So there you have it, guys. That is the upcoming feature. Um, for version Z, the final version Z update, supposedly. Shout out and thank you to Omatsu for hosting. And let me just make sure I didn't miss anything because, uh, you know, I can't read Japanese or understand Japanese without subtitles. So we got Ramert from the uh, Dokkan sub, sorry, no, Dokkan Discord, Discord channel. And uh, he basically gives us a few translations here. So he says, Election room, you can listen to whatever BGM you want in here. You can set the BGM to a team or have a default room. You will, They will release the BGMs in an order, and there will also be events to obtain BGMs as well. There you go. In burst mode, it is a mode where players can travel, or sorry, can challenge themselves and that they will try to beat their own scores. This mode will add gimmicks to current events and players will have to figure out ways to deal with them. 
This event changes periodically, just like Virtual Battlefield. There will also be challenges like Clear with Turtle School only or Clear with STR type only. Each condition or gimmick has a certain amount of points it gives and players can choose what conditions they want on themselves. And uh, yeah, there's the demonstration. Uh, there's a limit to the amount of coins you can get in a new mode and you will get burst coins from this event which you can then use to trade for BGM. So yeah, basically we, we went through everything. Um, I don't think I missed anything and uh yeah a pretty cool update you know some pretty interesting new features um i do like the whole ost collection thing because at the end of the day at its core dokkan is a collection game right so the more things we can collect the better and i've always said that dokkan has some of the best music in any uh video game i've ever played right so to be able to choose you know which ones we want to listen to or you know which one to have on your home screen all that stuff is uh, a nice touch that is not necessarily unique but definitely welcome and yeah guys that's uh, all there's to say right now that is the next version z update the final version z update that's coming to jp eventually to global as well uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it hopefully from here we get that major friend system overhaul, which everyone has been asking for, but uh, time will tell about that. Time will tell. For now, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger. With Tiger, Uppercut Media, signing out.